Good evening, everyone. I'm UQ Washington. So many are rightfully praising the Philadelphia police officers who escaped death yesterday. Right now, a lot of officers remain at the scene in Nice Town, Tioga. And just a short time ago, police retrieved the alleged gunman's AR-15 rifle. The suspect, Maurice Hill, still has not yet been charged. Police say he was armed with that assault rifle and a handgun. The DA said his criminal past should have kept him off the streets. And now lawmakers are calling for stricter gun control even more. We have live team coverage of all the fallout, starting with Greg Argos. He's returned to the neighborhood. Greg. Yuki, good evening tonight. Police still have the home cordon off, but for the first time they have opened up North 15th Street here in the nice town Tioga section of North Philadelphia. Last night at this hour, that suspect was barricaded inside that home tonight. He is in police custody facing serious charges as police all evening, all morning, all afternoon process the scene. That's still ringing off. Give me SWAT ASAP. Long gun. Less than 24 hours after it felt like parts of North Philadelphia were under siege. It's a, a truly harrowing experience. With a suspected shooter, 36-year-old Maurice Hill in police custody after more than a seven-hour standoff. Coming out. And with the six-shot police officers released and home with family, the focus now is on processing the home where this barricaded suspect opened fire on police. We're going to be out there for hours because of everything that is involved. All afternoon, members of the crime scene investigation team in Nice Town, Tioga, on North 15th Street and inside the house collecting evidence. This AR-15 removed from inside. It's the same model police say the suspect used during the hours-long standoff. Obviously, it is a busy day. Meanwhile, District Attorney Larry Krasner laying out what charges Hill could face, including attempted murder and aggravated assault. Hill has a criminal record dating back to the early 2000s. I think it's clear this man should not have been on the streets. Philadelphia police also releasing the names of the six officers who were injured. There are many heroes from last night. Governor Tom Wolf meeting with some of them, including Officer Waltman, who suffered a wound to his right hand. They deserve our greatest respect uh, and thanks for, for what they did. They walked toward the line of fire, not away from it. And you're looking live back at that home where that suspect, Maurice Hill, was holed up in for more than seven hours. The immense damage to the front of that house as that gun battle rang out for hours yesterday afternoon and evening here in North Philadelphia. Like I mentioned, Maurice Hill is facing serious charges, but he has not yet formally been charged. We're told that will happen as soon as this scene is entirely processed. I'm live here in North Philadelphia, Greg Argos, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Greg, thank you.